Welcome to the First Time Go Indie Film Highlight. It's our first episode. Today we're talking about the 2021 Terrence Davies film, Benediction. Benediction was released on June 3rd, 2022, and was written and directed by Terence Davies. The synopsis, legendary 20th century English war poet Siegfried Sassoon's lifelong quest for personal salvation through his experiences with family, war, his writing, and destructive relationships goes unresolved, never realizing it can only come from within. Is this extremely beautiful young man? Sassoon, Siegfried. Sounds Wagnerian. I'm anxious to meet our distinguished guests. All the fine young cannibals. What should I do about my hair? Have you considered topiary? It's one of the inconveniences of the shadow life we lead. Friends may come, friends may go. Enemies are always faithful. Life goes slowly on. Trying to understand the enigma of other people. You're going to marry her. If the intention wasn't pure, I don't think I could go through with it. IndieWire Critics Poll named it the 13th best film released in 2022, and Rotten Tomatoes gives it an average rating of 7.7 and an approval rating of 93%. The site's consensus reads, It isn't an easy watch, but Benediction uncovers a profoundly affecting drama in the real-life story of a combat veteran whose poetry warned against the horrors of war. Most people live for the moment. You live for eternity. Have you ever read a book by a great author and thought, man, that would have been fantastic if it just would have been cut by 50 or 100 pages? That's the same sense I got watching Benediction, the 2021 film by Terrence Davies. He wrote it. He directed it. So I get the sense that there was no one around to tell him, Terrence, you need to kill your babies. Kill your babies is a film term talking about how you need to cut things even though you don't want to. And with the 217 runtime, somebody needed to tell Davies to cut his babies. I get it. He's an esteemed filmmaker. He's got a great reputation. But there were some scenes, the stock footage of World War I, that really got me thinking, does that need to be in here? And I would argue no. A slimmer film would have been able to better accomplish his goals of telling the story of what it was like to be a gay man in that time period as well as a combat veteran shocked and horrified by the loss that he experienced. A slimmer film would have left the viewer with a better understanding of what that man's life was like. Agree, disagree? Would love to hear in the comments. Thanks for joining me for the Indie Film Highlight. See you next Sunday.